Know it. Speak the speech I pray thee, tripping me from the tongue, etc., etc. Man has to be conscious of his own spirituality before he will recognize right. it in somebody else. That's right. And that, to me, is why the white man will always fail with his religion. Because he doesn't have the spiritual qualities within himself to identify well, John, another. Man, John has said he's used them to control mm -hmm. deliberately. Yeah. But you, you it's, said, a white, it's definitely a white supremacist You, you studied the Roman Empire after, 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 after me, yeah. during Constantine and, and after and Constantine. That was a terrible man, Constantine. Yeah. Yeah. Well, who was the one that gave out the papal bull? Who was the one that gave out the papal bull to say anybody who was other than a Christian could be made a slave for the redemption of their soul? No, his words are, you are both, speaking of Spain and Portugal, Yes. you are both authorized to reduce to servitude That's all it. infidel mm. people. That's it. That's it. <laughs> That's the Pope. That was the Pope now. That's That's the that was a good Pope, That's too. That's the 666 talking about. That's the 666 talking about. Aren't you? You know, this, this was a good Pope now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not the, the see the the Medici's who spoke oh, so yeah, bad with yeah, the yeah. Uh, what they Bosia, who was really a, a, a <laughs> murderous. What, what, this being a murderer, she slept around with the popes. She, but, they made her a pope for a few months, didn't they? <laughs> yeah, they made her a pope yeah. for a few months in the period when her brother, one of them, didn't get ice quick enough. <laughs> but Constantine, look at this guy, because Constantine was a he imposed the doctrine of what people believe to be Christianity today. Now, this was a dude who killed. Uh, his wife's father mm -hmm. killed his sister's youngest son, killed his favorite son because he was a just and brave warrior and therefore threatened him. Right now, this oh. is the father of Christianity. Christian. He dictated this whole notion of the Trinity, you know, by the Western Christian. Christianity. Uh, That's Western what they call it. And that a trip. Yeah. And to top it off, he wasn't even a Christian. He was a heathen. Right, because... His wife made him a Christian, Because No, no, see, he had committed so many crimes that he did not want to take on Christianity until Hideous. his death so that he could be forgiven for everything he did because he knew right up to the time he, was gonna he do died wrong. he was going to do wrong. I hear you. I hear you. <laughs> but you know, I wonder, who, who was he waiting for to forgive him? What was the forgiveness thing? Yeah, he didn't believe in a God. They don't believe in a God yeah. today. Mm -hmm. They still really they don't believe in no God. So the was, the was, European was, became a I Christian a for political reasons. He remains a Christian for political exactly. reasons. That's exactly. exactly right. And we act as though he believes all mm -hmm. of that. Mm -hmm. And we believe it. And we believe they believe it. Mm -hmm. A white church is an icebox. They're cold. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know. Jimmy Swagger <laughs> is a good <laughs> imitation of a bad Baptist preacher. <laughs> so that's, that's true. true. <laughs> that's true. Good imitation, Good imitation of, of a bad Baptist, Baptist, Baptist preacher. preacher. That's right. the what? Jimmy, Jimmy Swagger. Swag. Swag. Jimmy Swagger. Oh, yeah. Southern. Well, all the styles that them white mm -hmm. uh, evangelists Look. use come from the black ministry. Right. Look, if you can't get your gender problems straight, I, I know you, you can't know get the story your spiritual problems straight. Mm -hmm. Well, mm -hmm. these, these people. And I don't think Baker was even a good imitation of the imitators. No. Mm -hmm. he, was, he, he was an artificial imitator. I think he was a vaudevillian. Yeah. Showman. Yeah. Well, you can say that for Billy Graham too, with his but screaming a, and shouting. Well, Billy Graham's a con man. Well, he's a politician to the to he's, the bottom he's, line. He's a he's a millionaire, you know. Multi oh, yeah. yeah. You wanna hear a tale? Someone I knew as an artist in the village in the days of the hippies and the dippies mm -hmm. and so forth. And he said a person he was associated with worked with Billy Graham. And they had to count the money that came in in the envelopes. It wasn't people. It was a bunch of trained chimpanzees that was in this here room. I can believe and they would open the envelope. They did not trust people. And they would open the envelope and by what denomination it was that money was going in these various baskets. You hear me? And the few people he had to trust to get the money out of there to count was less than if he'd have had 100 people down there counting money. So he's got three people he can trust, right? Three people he can trust, he can watch those three. A lot easier than he can watch a hundred. And this woman was one of the tally people who did the computing of the money as it came through her. But she was behind a shield. So she never touched the money. It was only there. And how do you think they counted it? They weighed it. They actually weighed the bills. By the gram weight, they could tell how much money it was. Well, <laughs> now, Billy they, Graham, the, now that's, in the South, that's Billy, Graham, Billy Graham had hey. a huge tent in the South. And the, had a rope down the street, down the line. Mm -hmm. 
and the, all the blacks would sit on the left side, uh -huh. and yeah. all the whites would right, so right. sit on the right. Uh -huh. Now, I was in Florida preaching. Captain Kuhlman and Billy Graham sent for me. I was people just coming. So, Billy Graham was in Africa. And Billy Graham sent a, a wire to me. In, I was in Florida. And said, Reverend Brown, well, uh, we, we want you, could you come down and help me in this crusade? Because I was crusading then. And I told Billy Graham <laughs> to go to hell. <laughs> He's not gonna use. I'm not a house nigga. Nigga, you ain't gonna use me. Well, I know he, uh, he want me sense. to use me against my people in oh, Africa. Yeah. It's been he, done before. He, 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 I told Captain Cooper the same thing. Ethel Waters until she died. I know. It, Who's that? Know, oh yeah. yeah. Ethel Waters. The black church is buried. Ethel Waters Water had sinned until she had nothing to sin with. Yeah. Then she found God. Well, yeah. his eyes is on the spiral. Is what she wrote. And uh, she wrote his eyes. Graham's eyes was on. You know, I was supposed to to interview her for that book. Mm. Oh, what book was that? His eyes are on the spiral. When she heard that I knew Earl Dancer, who had milked her out of a lot of money, mm -hmm. Earl Dancer was her manager longer than anyone. There's a black con man. Mm. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. why would why, she take up with these black pretty boys? Because they got the slick line of jive for these women. No, I I see, like look, I've been around show business people most of my life, and I'll tell you something. It is hard for a woman that's in show business to keep her head on straight. She's got everybody out there adoring her, glorifying her, seeing her other than a woman. She's a goddess image to them. Now she's got nobody to be human with. She's got nobody to relate to on a real emotional care level. So here comes Slick John Willie, and he hands her this story on the day. And you take women in show business, the most difficult thing for them to have is a meaningful emotional relationship with a man. Or a woman, for that matter. Well, I know some who just gave up on men. Why shouldn't they? They misused themselves behind every man they were jigging around trouble. with. But I know when Gil Noble and you all used to go all the way to New Jersey to stop this man Tresbert from beating up on Sarah Bond. Bond. All right. Mm. And mm. he could do because yeah. Gil Noble is six foot three. Well, he's pretty. And pretty, they, he's they hung a pretty two, street person too. Yeah, they took. They yeah. hung over two hundred pounds on him. Yeah. So if he tell Tresbert, if you hit her again, you know you got to deal with me. He gonna lay off. Now, to, to show you how these things are in this violent deal, somebody called me up one time to come over there to the Waldorf to stop Jimmy Brown from beating this judge's daughter from Philadelphia. Mm. Yeah. Now, you know Jimmy Brown ain't gonna listen to me. They know that they've given up an inch, and there may be 10 more miles to give up, and they, gotta, they know that the road is not backwards anymore, Dr. Clark. They know that they cannot go back, go forward, eventually going to have to give these black people their job. You know black the people are going to take it. But so you know what the conclusion has been? The conclusion is among the people in economic power, they concluded that uh, the African worker into But they've also concluded that they're going to continue to hold on to the economy. Give yeah. the blacks the politics. Mm -hmm. And whether That's that deal so goes down. Class. Yeah. And whether that deal goes down determines whether or not we get our liberation. Because if it does, ain't no liberation. And the material will still be exploited. Well, the, the too many blacks who will become contented on that level. Suck it on a sugar tit, rush your teeth, Dr. Clark. <laughs> you know that. We won't move any further. Well, the Indians on the reservation are still there for the same reason, thinking they got something more than they really ever no, got. Before. But you know, I've been doing research. I have a speech that I give on King and Malcolm, but it's a book that I'm working on. And so far, I've come up with 22 unities, profound unities between King and Malcolm, four to five profound differences, 22. And one of them is over the most profound issue that's plagued black people forever. What's the course of direction for the black liberation movement? And because we have seen each other through their eyes, the Europeans' eyes, we have not seen what's right for us. And then when I was telling John this, and John said, well, yeah, uh, Elijah Muhammad, Booker T. Washington, W.E.B. Du Bois, Marcus Garvey, they were all about the same thing. Yeah, the same, saying using different words. Yeah. But saying the same. So it's not a matter of either one or the other. It's any means. Which uh, one is appropriate, uh -huh. given the time, uh -huh. given the situation. But you know why we haven't seen it? One, we bought into the Europeans' idea of conflicting opposites. Mm -hmm. Wherever there's difference, they have to be in conflict. Mm -hmm. And two, we haven't bought into the idea that the governing law of the universe is unity. And if you know that, 
you can take the most opposed forces, like the Soviet Union and the United States. The reality is they got more in common than separated. separated. And what's happening now is they're breaking bread over that. Mm -hmm. huh? Before they deliberately focused on the differences. But because we've internalized the Eurocentric view, we haven't seen what's no. right before our eyes. I've, uh, I, I was at Camille Cosby's party and I'm talking to Kenneth Clark. I said, I would not be surprised if the day will come we will not see the Jews and the Arabs in the same political bed against the blacks. <laughs> he walked away shaking hands. Oh, John, they're coming. I can't take that. I mean, I have great respect for you and your ideas. That's just beer on <laughs> I said, look, Professor Clark, historians do the same thing as lawyers. They cite a precedent. Mm -hmm. When the Africans and the Arab law of Spain, where they had installed the Jew as the grandees, as the money managers, both the Arabs and the Jews turned on the Africa. That's true. That's true. The Jews started, helped to set up the Dutch East India Company, who went to Holland, gained control of the gold, and subsequently the diamonds. The Arabs continued the East African slave trade. That's true. And when mm -hmm. black eunuchs, castrated blacks, brought higher price on the market, on the slave market, mm -hmm. routine slaves, mm -hmm. they were sold by Arabs mm -hmm. and Jewish agents. Mm -hmm. That's my precedent. Mm -hmm. That's, never mind all you with mm -hmm. Deal with my Take. precedent. Take. It's already Take. happened. And then the Jews turned over mm -hmm. all those maps into Africa to the Portuguese. Yes, yeah, that's what Prince Henry the Navigator got. Mm -hmm. The famous Catlin Atlas mm -hmm. that gave them a, a basic outline of the trading post in inner West Africa. That's one thing. That's one thing I want to do while we're here is I want you to give me a list of books that I need to read on European history. You know, on how they consolidated their position, the whole thing. Because the point you made a number of years ago, we must not only master our history, we have to master yes, theirs. Too. And in the process, we'll see it in a different way. Mm -hmm. Then there's something we, we really should look into. See, it's hard to get students to look into something which they haven't got the word black in it and nothing to do with us directly. And yet, it has something to do with us in an indirect way that is equivalent to being direct, you know. Mm -hmm. And it, it's hard for them to really uh, mm -hmm. look at it. Read Springer's Decline. Oh, I've read oh, that. Yeah. Read Springer's Decline in the West. West. Very Decline important. Decline in the West. Mm -hmm. Man read, and the techniques are the decision. Mm -hmm. then, 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 while I'm going over Rome, yeah. I'm saying that once you understand the unworthiness of people to rule, mm -hmm. <laughs> your freedom starts mm -hmm. there mm -hmm. at that and, point. And, and, and Spengler makes a real good point in the decline of the West when he says the European is no longer in a creative stage if they ever were. He said, mm -hmm. ours is the age of techniques. He yes. says, I have I can't, I can't find it now because my I stole it went off. Mm. But you Fifteen think? cents of volume. Wow. It was, you know, discards yeah, from yeah. some estate. Yeah. yeah. That was the best lesson on Europe I've ever read. Mm. I've got some books. Scandals on the courts of Scandals Europe. On the, and scandals I've got, of the courts. I've got one is the oh, morals yeah. of Europe yeah. in the 13th century. Mm -hmm. It's like eight books. And this gives the whole sociological, cultural development and transformation of attitudes mm -hmm. from the time of the Romans going into England, mm -hmm. you know, from the time of Claudius all the way up through. Common people. That's 
That's why the church, that's why the state gained both control. Came out. The church gained control yeah. of the printing press. Uh, that is right. This is when Father Jesus Cassis wrote his devastating book on the destruction of the uh, indigenous, the West Indies. They had it locked into, uh, locked yeah. up in Rome. Uh, I'm getting it. Uh, no, the Andes. Yeah. By, by the by that line Spengler does a good thing in comparing the Romans. He talks about the Roman period. No great art. Because he called the civilization the creative phase. It was mechanization. Uh -huh. mm. so mechanic. Uh -huh. Well, they're turning out mechanical but, people. But they had no uh -huh. humanity. Uh -huh. Well. That's why I said they never the best common sense. Because of the French did not have the matrilineal. So many French came to power who were just downright idiots. Yeah, yeah. Become king. Mm. Here's a king playing with a yo-yo. <laughs> Here's a king. They want him to produce an heir to the throne, and he can't stand women, no kind of way. Mm -hmm. He hires a bug from this for him. <laughs> then he becomes embarrassed because baby, his baby looks like a dog. Yeah. He had the man killed. <laughs> the man did a job. He hired him to do a job. He was a stud. He hired him to do a job. He did the job. Uh, Ain't no reason to kill. You got to kill him. When you say, be on do, mm -hmm. you clear on what you should. But they have no one looks at the philosophy. That's what they've always yeah, accused us. We're, we're thinkers. Mm -hmm. See, we are thinkers in the sense that mm -hmm. you know, Columbus insight. He was wrong about the period of time. He said the European, he thought, lost their creativity when they separated reason from emotion. Yeah. Now, it didn't. Because if you look classical music. It's an intellectual music. There's no emotion in it. No, let's get closer to it. Look at Benny Goodman's imitation of Jack. Not on the emotion. It's not the creativity. That's right. And you must have it within we, yourself to put I it. talked to Red Allen one night. He was at the Metropole. Mm -hmm. he, he must have been down on his skids because at the Metropole, the naked women dance over the bar mm -hmm. to get men to buy more drinks. You know, and, and NBC had a studio upstairs. So I'm coming out my lunch hour. And he's standing there. I said, Hey, Red, what's the, what, what's the secret of you and the horn? It ain't no secret, Johnny Boy. I always play this horn the same way. Mm -hmm. I said, but my gal's sweet, I play one way. Mm -hmm. And she's evil, I play another way. <laughs> <laughs> had a good steak, I played one way, oh, I had a bad steak, I played another way. But I always played the same way every night, you know what I mean? There you go. And what, you, what you're talking about here, when Descartes said, I think, therefore I am. Oh, yeah. To me, that was the destruction yeah, sure. of his common sense sure. altogether. And that's a if logical you, line, straight from the Greeks. It's straight from the so Greeks. God but the Greeks lifted it out of Africa See, but, and only took that one part, because in the African philosophies, they said, yes, I think, I also feel. And in my feeling, I think, and in my thinking, I feel. The two are not separate. They're not divisive. But you turn, cannot separate. When you start doing that, then you're going to turn out the Frankenstein monster. But I think Singo really got off the boat when he said that. That emotion is Negro, emotion is 
Emotion is what? Greek. Reason is Greek. Reason is Greek. Is Greek. Is Greek. Yeah. Mm. I think he was. Yeah. But well, well, he was out of the crowd. Yeah, I right. think so. Because but that's a logical buying in to the dude you're talking about. Sure. You know, logical buying in. That's all he's got left. Mm. If feel and emote these feelings into a creative artistic form, what has he got left? But, but the here's intellectual the cold abstract shot. Here's the cold shot. I mean, at Aristotle, Aristotle brought this to a high level. That's the lower mind. That's, that's the right. logical mind. But that's not the higher mind. No. The higher mind can tell you things that don't appear to be true, that but the lower mind can deal with evil. that are intuitive, which our folks operate on. Like, by the way, Sitting Bull, Sitting Bull. Sitting, sitting Bull was a warrior priest. Do you know he had a dream? And based on that dream, he laid out a strategy. A dream. And based on the dream, he took five, ten, fifteen on that the creativity that we're talking about with all the universe is nothing but music emits a sound, right? That's why the highest level of the mystery was the musician, because he had mastered she, he, she, yeah. he had mastered everything else, because that's the thing closest to the God. Look at us. I don't care how bad a speaker is that. Put them up against Aretha Franklin. Put them up against one person. They don't have the consciousness that they should have, right? Mm -hmm. But that, that's a high expression. Of the sound. Mm -hmm. and, and, and what is this? Uh, to the planets? Mm -hmm. Pulses? Now, you found strange? They did research recently, and they took the radio information and perspective at the sound of these planets. All of these planets gave the the sound of Mars water. Yeah, yeah, I'm going. The sound of Mars water. Do you read right now? Jupiter was There's a there's a book out on this here, and this was only. What time should I be ready? It's John Holtz. Oh, uh, you should be ready. This is Dr. Clark, Clark Dr. Ben College Day Castle. Uh, it is. Anything your heart desires, don't be sure. Man, uh, See, God is poor. Why should be? What did you want me to do? Call the doc. Who you want me to call? Picture your mouth. Is that something? You know, you, you, one person who could be on that thing to talk about Malcolm. He's in jail. Who? Ferguson. No, you know what? Herman Ferguson. I don't know whether Ferguson is up to it. But you know, I, I don't know whether Ferguson knows where he's going now. Oh. And I don't even know why Ferguson came back to the country. None of us know. Yeah. And I'll admit that some unanswered questions bothers me. He had a high position. In Guyana. Yeah, in Guyana. He was an interior. Colonel. That's it. literally a he was? cabinet. Yeah he was, oh. a he was, huh. yeah, he was like almost a general. He was a yeah, diplomat. Well, he, come back is right. he had the rank of a general. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. He That's had true. the house of a general, the chauffeur of a general, everything. Yeah, he could just come back here and go to jail. Mm -hmm. What's the point? Mm -hmm. Well, the way I got it from Wyoming is that he said that white boy who was underground for 12 years came back and they gave him a fram sham trial. And cut him loose. loose. Sure, he was white. They're not going to do the same this thing is, to him. Okay. When so he said, he said that he felt that they would open those archival files on the COINTELPRO and then the truth would come out. They I haven't would be, done that to Geronimo Pratt. What look, I would be well, sure that before I come back. Pratt is now up for that, though. I would be sure that before I came, came he, back. He took the chance. I, I wouldn't be coming back with a gamble. Well, Geronimo Pratt's been there for how long now? 18 years?